Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get back on the grind and put my mind to the test on Jeopardy, the 1995 PC version. But let's, uh, let's take a look at something here. Let's take a look at something here. Oh. See if I can find the, uh, Find the, uh, movies edition. Hang on. Yeah. Huh. Hang on, folks. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the... No? I'll see if I can find it in a little bit. Oh, there it is. Oh, I've been overlooking. Sorry, folks. Yeah, we're going to do the TV and movies version of Jeopardy, the 1995 PC version. Let's begin. Welcome to Jeopardy. Let's begin our game. So I was just overthinking a little bit. All right. I'll use the space bar to buzz in. He'll be a beanie, and so will he. Let's just go ahead and get to the game. Now for the Jeopardy round, in which one daily... Great plays. Somewhere on the board. Military films. Categories. Movie directors. Oscar-winning men. Special effects, and finally, the showbiz. All right. Let's play. Good luck. Contestant number one will start... Uh, great plays 100, please. The answer is... It's the story of a boy who blinds horses with a metal spike. Contestant number three. What, it's Equus? Yep. Yes. That's <coughs> correct. Contestant number three. Sorry. This epic shop play includes the story of Don Juan in Hell. Contestant number two. Arms and the Man, no. Wrong. Contestant number three. Nope. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Well, I don't know this one, so I'm just going to stay put. Man and Superman. Contestant number three. All right. <clears throat> it's the girth story of a scholar who sells his soul to the devil... Oh, gosh. Contestant number two. Faust? Yep. Yes. Contestant number two. It's the story of the rivalry between Mozart and Soleri. Contestant number three. Amadeus. You are correct. Contestant number three. This work by Shakespeare includes the characters Auburn and Puck. <clears throat> Contestant number three. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Hamlet? No! Sorry. That's incorrect. Contestant number one. What is a midsummer night's dream? There we go. Yes. That's correct. Contestant number Military one. Films 100. Ken Burns made a nine part series of films about this critical war. 
Contestant number one. I'm going to say was the Civil War. Yes. Yep. Military Films 200. Contestant number one. Anthony Edwards starred in this high action film about fighter pilots. <clears throat> Contestant number three. Red Dawn. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number two. Top Gun. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's co contestant number two. This Oliver Stone film starred Charlie Sheen and Tom Berenger. <clears throat> contestant number one. What is Platoon? Yes. Military That's films correct. for 400. Contestant number one. John Wayne starred in this film about the Army's elite fighting force. Contestant number one. I'm going to say what is the longest day. No, I'm afraid uh, that is not correct. Mm -mm. Contestant number two. The Green Berets, oh yeah. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. Contestant number two. Oh, Daily Double. He's going to do 500, all right. I'll give him 1,200 if he's right. <clears throat> Here's the clue in military films. It was a film about the Pacific Campaign that resulted in the famous statue of Marines planting the American flag. Sands of Iwo Jima. You are correct. Contestant number two. All right, movie directors. This master of westerns directed My Darling Clementine. Contestant number one. Who is John Ford? You are correct. Movie directors 200. This psycho director made cameo appearances in many of his films. Contestant number three. Alfred Hitchcock, I knew that one. Yes. I didn't buzz That's it in correct. time. Contestant number three. All right. <clears throat> His sentimental style was deri was derisively referred to as Capricorn. Contestant number one. Who is Frank Capra? Yes. Contestant number one. Movie director's 400. He directed Apocalypse Now. Contestant number one. Um, who is Martin Scorsese? I'm sorry. That's wrong. No, he didn't direct it. Contestant number three. Oh, Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. Contestant number... Th Movie director's 500. Three. This director made Raging Bull about the life of boxer Jake LaMotta. Now is the time for Martin Scorsese. Contestant number two. We're no. No, I'm afraid that is not correct. Contestant number there one. There we go. Now is the time for Martin Scorsese. You are correct. Contestant number Oscar one. winning men 100. This actor sent a Native American to accept his best actor Oscar as a protest. Contestant number three. Marlon Brando. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. All right. He won an Oscar for his role in Captain's Courageous. Contestant number three. Spencer Tracy. You are correct. Contestant number three. All right. He won the Best Actor Oscar for his role in Kramer vs. Kramer. Contestant number uh, who one. Who is Justin Henry? Oh, sorry. No. That's not right. Contestant number three. Sidney Pollock? No. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Contestant number two. Oh, Dustin Hoffman. Okay. You are correct. Contestant number two. He won for Rain Man also. He's the last man to win the Best Actor Oscar in consecutive years. Contestant number one. Who is Tom Hanks? You are correct. Contestant Oscar number one. 500. Henry Fonda won his only Oscar for his role, final role in this film. Contestant number one. What is on Golden Pond? You are correct. Contestant number Special one. Special effects for 100. It's the technology that allows a complicated tracking shot to be flawlessly duplicated. Contestant. What is FX? No. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number what one. What is CGI? Wrong. Contestant number three. Mo motion control. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. Let's take a look at the answer. 
Prior to computer effects, spaceships and other non-existent objects have been created on screen with these. Oh. Contestant number two. Paintings. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Contestant number three. Drawings, no. Sorry. Incorrect. I would say cutouts, but I'm not sure. Models. Oh, okay. Good. Contestant number three. All right. To make an actor able to appear on any background, he's filmed in front of a screen that's this color. Contestant number one. What is green? You are correct. Or blue. Contestant number it took one. it. Special effects 400. It's the first completely computer animated motion picture. Contestant number one. What is Toy Story? You are correct. Contestant Special effects 500. One. Stan Winston created the menacing queen for this James Cameron thriller. Contestant number one. Uh, what is the Terminator? Sorry, that's incorrect. No? Contestant number two. I said the Terminator. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Contestant. Aliens. Oh, yeah. You are <clears throat> correct. Contestant number three. The Showbiz 100. This studio, famous for its lion, still bears his name. Contestant number one. What is MG? Uh, who is uh, Samuel Goldwyn? I'm sorry. Oh. Contestant number three. Chaplin. No. Sorry. Contestant number two. Oh, Louis B. M Louis yes. B. Mayer. That's correct. Contestant number two. All right, 200. He was the director most famous for his grand epics, such as the Ten Commandments. Contestant number one. Who is one. Uh, Cecil B. DeMille? Yes. That's uh, 300. Contestant number one. Before joining Disney, he was widely regarded as the most powerful agent in Hollywood. Contestant number one. Who is uh, Michael Eisner? Sorry. Incorrect. Foo. Contestant number three. Mike Ovitz? Yes. Oh. That's correct. Contestant number three. All right. Many studios turned down this sci-fi epic before 20th Century Fox picked it up. Contestant number one. What is Star Wars? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. To date, it's the most expensive film ever made. Contestant number two. Waterworld. Yep. And then Titanic took over that. Now for the Double Jeopardy round. With two best directors somewhere on the board, Bewitched, these categories. Happy Days, Sequels, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and finally, The Twilight Zone. Ooh. I don't know. Good luck. Contestant number two, we'll start with you. Best Directors 200. Here is the clue. When he won, he declined to appear at the ceremony because he didn't want to miss playing in his weekly clarinet gig. Contestant number one. Who is Woody Allen? You are correct. Best director is 400. Contestant number one. He received the most nominations for best director with 12. Contestant number one. Who is Steven Spielberg? Sorry, incorrect. No. Anyone else? Contestant number two. Alfred Hitchcock? No. No, I'm afraid that is not correct. Contestant number three. Is it Frank Capra? No. Sorry. Best director, Contestant 600. Contestant number one. Daily Double. The clue? It's the Daily Double. All right. Contestant number one. What would you like I'll to do? I'll do it. 1,700. Why not? He won the most the Best Director Awards with four. Oh. 
Uh, John Ford. Oh. Uh, not correct. Tested I was gonna put one. Steven Spielberg, but I didn't put in an answer in time. The answer there is. The film Steven Spielberg finally won the award for. Contestant number uh, one. What is Schindler's List? Yes. Best Director's a thousand. Contestant number one. Though he did not win Best Director, he directed himself to a Best Actor award. Contestant number three. Lawrence Olivier. You are correct. Contestant number three. Be wedged 200. In 1969, Dick Sargent replaced this actor in the role of Darren. Contestant number three. Dick York. That was my guess. Yes. Oh, That's well. correct. Contestant number three. Samantha wiggled this part of her body to cast spells. Contestant number one. Uh, what is her nose? You are correct. Test he went for six. One. He played the wisecracking Uncle Arthur. Contestant number one. Who's Paul Lind? You are correct. You had to number one. Darren was changed into a 17th century bed warmer while visiting this historical town. Contestant number three. Salem? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number three. The last name of the nosy next door neighbors. Contestant. Kravitz. You are yep. correct. Contestant number three. Happy Days 200. The type of store Mr. C owned. Contestant number one. What is a hardware store? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number Happy Days one. Four. This spin up was created because of the popularity of a character who appeared on one episode in the 1977-1978 season. Contestant number one. What is... Chachi loves Joni. I'm sorry. No. That's wrong. Contestant. Mork and Mindy. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's correct. Contestant number three. All right. Ralph's dad's profession. Contestant number two. Optometrist. You are correct. Yep. Contestant number two. The other day they double. Alright. Just 800 only. Alright, here's the clue in Happy Days. Pinky Tuscadero's sister, Leather, was played by this rock star. Susie Quanto? Quattro? Yeah. Yes. That's correct. Contestant number two. Happy Days 1000. The American Museum where Fonz's leather jacket was enshrined. Contestant What is the one. Smithsonian? Yes, that's correct. Contestant Sequels 200. There are the race of little furry people who help overthrow the Empire in Return of the Jedi. Contestant number two. The Ewoks, no. Yes. Oh, that's right. That's Never mind. correct. Contestant number two. There were five sequels to 1934's The Thin Man, all of which teamed up Myrna Loy with this actor. Contestant number one. Who is Tyrone Powell? Sorry. No. That's incorrect. Contestant number three. Cary Grant, no. Wrong. Contestant number two. Spencer Tracy. No. Oh, sorry. Contestant number two. All right. 1950s, The Miniverse Story was a sequel to this movie, for which Greer Garson won an Academy Award for 1942. Contestant number one. What is driving Mrs. Minivere? You are correct. Yeah. Contestant number one. Roots, The Next Generations was the sequel to this mini to the miniseries adapted from this author's novel. Who's Contestant Alex Haley? Number one. You are correct. Thousand. Contestant number one. The Revenge of the Pink Panthers, a sequel to three previous movies starring this actor as Jacques Clouseau. Contestant number uh, Who's one. Peter Sellers? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. In its first season, he won an Emmy for comedy writing on the show. Mm. 
Contestant number two. Carl Reiner, that was my guess. You are correct. Contestant number two. All right. The show went off the air in this year. Contestant number one. What is 1965 or six? What is 19... What is 1966? You are correct. Yeah. Contestant number one. Carl, cr creator Carl Renner had worked on Six Caesars variety comedy opus called this. Contestant number three. Your show of shows? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number three. Dick Van Dyke played a chimney sweep in this musical movie. Contestant number one. What is Mary Poppins? Yes. That's correct. Contestant Dick Van Dyke 1000. The pilot for the show was actually written with this show of shows alumnus in mind. Excuse me. Contestant number two. Sid Caesar? Sorry. No. Correct. Anyone else? Contestant. Woody Allen? No. Incorrect. That just leaves the Twilight Zone, huh? I've never watched The Twilight Zone, so I'm not going to know too much about it. Oh, Carl Renner. All right. Contestant number one. This deadpan silent great appeared in a comical episode as a janitor with a time travel helmet. Contestant number three. Buster Keaton. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. Let's take a look at the answer. The name of the actor who was killed during the filming of The Twilight Zone, the movie. Contestant number three. Vic Morrow. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. He directed the Kick the Can segment of The Twilight, of Twilight Zone, the movie. Contestant number two. Steven Spielberg, I knew that one. You are correct. Contestant number two. All right. What David Wayne sold his soul to, for the, to the devil for in Escape Clause. I don't know. Immortality. Contestant number two. Here is the clue. This esteemed science fiction writer served as creative consultant of the 1985 version of the show. Contestant number three. All right. You are correct. The final Jeopardy category. Woody Allen. Is All right. Contestant number Let's one. Let's go forty-two hundred. What would you like to wager? All right. The final Jeopardy clue. Contestant oh, number two, the final finish. Jeopardy response was yes. Oh, sleeper. That's I would have been wrong either way. Let's see what contestant number two wagered. Oh, oh well. So I end up with $1,600, but I lose. Your total? Contestant number three, your final Jeopardy response was incorrect. Oh. Let's see what contestant number three I could have won. I could have won, but I took a foolish risk. It's okay. It's all right. Your total? Contestant number one, your final Jeopardy response was wrong. Let's see what contestant number one wagered. Oh, well, I tried. I'll see you all for the next segment, everybody. Your total? Sorry you didn't win. Sharpen your wits and try again.